Dr. Kevin Cavanaugh is a retired physician and also the present chairman and founder of Health Watch USA. Good morning, Doc. Oh, good morning, Jack. How was your Thanksgiving, sir? Well, it was very good. It was stuffed, as I had said before, missed the large number of families, but we were able to Zoom with them, and I had most of the turkey and dressing because I have the good cook. There you go. There you go. This morning we have some information uh, shared on our news. Perhaps you could give us a little uh, more detailed information. The federal appellate court agreeing with Governor Bashir order to close all Kentucky schools. Uh, yes, and, and I feel that this is good news. As you know, I feel the remediation should be closing of other high-risk venues rather than opening of high-risk venues, especially if it puts our children and teachers at risk. Now, I have heard that that's going to be appealed. I think that there's a chance it could be heard in the Supreme Court. But overall, I'm kind of really baffled by this because, well, first of all, if I was the governor, I'd ask the plaintiffs just to identify other high-risk venues that they feel need to be closed, and I'd close them. You know, it's something that we need to do hand in hand. If people identify a high-risk venue, they feel strongly enough that we ought to sue over because things aren't fair, we need to consider closing that venue. And the other thing which is very surprising to me is that in November of 2019, and this was published in PubMed, there's a article from the uh, Journal of the C Catholic Health Association of the United States called Pandemic Readiness, a Plan for Catholic Parishes. And this is, of course, pre-COVID. This is in November of 2019. And in this article, they talk about various phases. And the last phase, being a catastrophic phase, is one where the infrastructure of the community has been compromised in the wake of an epidemic or pandemic caused by a novel virus. And it really fits what we are in. They talk about a storm surge, a really very intelligent, pragmatic way of handling this. And the actions which this article state is that the parish is closed, either as a result of insufficient staff or as a result of public health policy. And that the ecclesiastical laws that address extraordinary circumstances are brought into bear in order to continue the provision of pastoral care and the sacraments. And I think this is very, um, you know, very important. And this is a team of Catholic professionals and leaders that have put out this pandemic preparedness plan. And I would suggest that this plan is read and actually followed. It's very much in line with current public health policy, mainstream public health policy. I think that's what we need to do. We need to get over this fighting with each other and try to address the surge. By the way, Dr. Ryan Stanton, our ER doc, who is our other professional uh, medical man that is on with us, uh, is now COVID positive and is in quarantine with all the cases that he has come in contact with. Frankly, I'm surprised it hasn't happened before now, but we'll have him on with us tomorrow morning between nine and 10 to talk about his experience with COVID-19. Now, I was also hearing that if you went away for Thanksgiving, even though you were asked not to, that you should wait, what, three to five days after you return before being tested? Well, yes, you want to wait several days because you're not going to be positive initially. Remember, there's a very long incubation period for this virus, up to 10 days. Some people will say 14 days. And you're only positive probably two to three days before you have symptoms. Unfortunately, that's a high point of shedding the virus. So you don't want to get tested immediately. I saw this morning that one of President-elect Biden's pandemic response advisors were uh, advising that you should probably stay home and isolate for seven to 10 days uh, prior to going out and about if you were out of town over Thanksgiving. So you do need to take precautions because this virus it's not only deadly, but in a lot of people, even those mildly affected, you can have long-lasting symptoms and consequences. Dr. Kevin Cavanaugh, thank you. We'll talk to you on Wednesday. Thank you, sir.